Hey guys, so today I'm doing a random video, but Versed or Versed, I can never know, I never know how to say it, sent me a few products. They didn't ask me to do a video, they didn't ask for my review, nothing. They literally just wanted to send some products, which I thought was so nice. This is the second time they've done this, and I've had to pick the products. So I'm going to talk about them. I've really used, I got four, and I used three out of the four. The one I used once, but I haven't had enough experience with it to really speak to its results. But let's get into it. So I was really excited to try them. There's some stuff in this brand I don't like. Um, I've had some experience and I didn't like it. There's some stuff I really like. So it's a brand that I feel like it's a good price point. It's sold at Target. Like, I like it, but I don't love it. So one, I was running out of my makeup remover, my first cleanse and my double cleanse. So I wanted to try this. This is their Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm with Eucalyptus Oil and Vitamin E. I like it, it works. It is a full balm, um, you scoop it out, you emulsify it, add water, rinse it, and it does not leave you with any kind of residue and it definitely removes makeup. I wouldn't say it removes waterproof mascara. I usually use like a cotton pad with something to remove that, but I really do like it. Some more details on it. It smells like popcorn. I don't know what it is. It definitely has fragrance in it, which I don't love. I prefer something without fragrance, but it smells like popcorn and perfume it's very very strange the scent is very strong um it doesn't bother my skin or anything but it's very strong i don't think i would repurchase this honestly just because of the scent if this was fragrance free i'd probably repurchase it. i really like the texture of it and it works but that smell is just like so much i just don't enjoy the smell it just wasn't life-changing if you don't mind a smell it does work really well next up i wanted to buy another one of the glossier um shoot what is it called i have it right here the glossier future do i wanted to buy another one of these a serum oil hybrid i mix it with my foundation or use it for as a primer and it really helps kind of with glow if you have dry skin but i didn't want to repurchase it because it's expensive and then when i got this opportunity i wanted something similar this is supposed to be similar based on the ingredients the versed sunday morning antioxidant oil serum with sea buckthorn extract and camellia oil so both of those ingredients love i have an oil that i've used for dry patches that has those ingredients in it you can see it's two different products one's an oil one's more of a serum you shake it up before you use it and it looks like that it's very interesting it is way more liquidy though. Like this comes out like a serum. This is straight liquid. I do like it, but because it's so thin, I feel like my skin like just swallows it up. It is not a dupe for this. Not that it claims to be. This kind of sits on the skin and really lets your makeup gl glow. This absorbs into the skin. But it's nice, but I don't love it. Now, last two things. One is this. This is their dermablading kind of tool, dermaplaning, whatever. First of all, you should never shape your whole face at home. I didn't know this. I've been doing it for a very long time. Get rid of that peach fuzz. It makes your skin look so smooth and it looks, makes makeup look so good. But it introduces so much bacteria to the skin. It exfoliates too much. It can damage your skin. No good. So I didn't know that. Also, shaving your face at home is not dermaplaning. Dermaplaning is a professional thing that only estheticians and like dermatologists and people can do. I didn't know this. They're two different things, so you shouldn't be doing any of that at home. Was not aware. Was not aware um, until very recently. I actually dermaplaned, dermaplaned, I shaved my face uh, the day before my, my bridal shower. And the day of my bridal shower, my skin was quite very clear, but the day after my skin broke out because of the dermaplaning, I believe. And that was a different tool, but this is their tool. They come with like three heads, so it's cool that you can just buy the heads and replace them. It's very, very sharp. It's the sharpest at home face shaving tool I've ever used. Right now, all I use it for is this, the unibrow and the little moustache hairs there and it's great it is so sharp it's it's wild i really recommend it if you are gonna face, shave your face at home which i don't recommend but if you are something this sharp is what you want to use be very 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 careful with it it comes with obviously this clear lid this is sharp like let me be very clear this is sharp <laughs> it's not like the ones you can buy for four dollars like a three pack on amazon this is intense that's why it's more expensive but i do like it so if i was shaving my face i'd probably use this to be honest but i'm not the last product i got was the uh, out of sight dark spot gel with kojic and tranexamic acid this is a weird color it's like a yellowy color i've only used it twice and I didn't see a difference just because what's going on with my skin. I'm like so scared to introduce new stuff onto my face. That's like leave on. 
The ingredients are really, really nice though. So I do feel like if you do have dark spots, this may very well help. It's a good amount of product. It's a good texture and it's a good price. So that's kind of it. I know this is like a little short video, but I just wanted to share because I got some new products to try out. So I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want me to try anything else in this brand or my opinions on other products I may have used in the past. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.